Hi all, welcome back to my channel and our traveling adventures. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to take your kayak through a dam lock and to be lowered to the river below? Well we did, so we took a tour with Chattanooga Guided Adventures and they take us through the process on a Chickamauga Dam Lock Kayak Tour. Join us on this adventure. After discovering there's more than one entrance to the river park, we were on the right path with Zach from Chattanooga Guided Adventures leading the way. The river park is where we would end this adventure and where we would need to leave our personal vehicles. We would need to take a shuttle to the Chickamauga Dam Day Use Area where we would be launching our rented kayaks. The morning fog left a nice cool effect on the Chickamauga Lake. It was a little after 9 a.m. and we were excited for this new experience. As we unloaded the kayaks, we had some ducks in the water and some deer across the water watching us. One of the things I was worried about since we weren't using our kayaks is where I was going to mount my camera to share this adventure. Fortunately, I was able to make use of the straps and come up with a solution. If you're wondering why we didn't use our kayaks, well sit on tops are prohibited from going through the dam lock and taking our sit in kayaks would have been a little bit of an inconvenience since we had to be shuttled. You'll just submerge your blade all the way in the water and hold it there and drag it until you feel yourself come to a stop. Oh, and you figured out an advanced stroke. You want to show them? You want to show people that? Oh, so, I'm just trying to stop. <laughs> Get out of the water. So what, what you did though is called a rudder. So you had some speed and what you can do is you can stick your paddle blade behind you and kind of drag it and whatever side you're dragging it on is the side that your boat will turn to. Just called ruddering. Uh, we'll paddle over, it's about a half a mile to the other side of the river, and that's where the lock is going to be. The dam will be on our left, but on the far, far side of the river is where the lock will be. Um, this is Chickamauga Dam. Um, there was an Indian tribe called the Chickamauga Indians um, in our area way, way back when, and it's kind of what this dam is named after. Let's head over to that no wake sign for a little bit. The dam will come into our view on the left. Alright, so behind us, um, this is the dam, Chickamauga Dam. It is an earthen dam, so it's made out of dirt. Um, You'll notice on the outside, it's got a nice white color. Um, that is limestone, it's called riprap. Um, they bring that in to a lot of the areas on the river as like protection from erosion. So the water hits the rock and nothing happens. Um, yeah, I hear it's really popular. You guys hear the horn? So that means that that boat is now locked through the it, the gates have opened and they're exiting the lock down there. So they'll they'll let that boat go out. They'll close up the doors and start filling it back up for us. Uh, 
Um, if there are any boats or things inside the lock, they get first dibs on coming out. It's kind of like an elevator. You let the people coming out first before you go in. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to paddle in and I'm going to tie us off to one of the cleats on the wall. And the cleats float up and down with us. And then everybody can paddle up right next to me. And I'm going to run the rope across all of us and we just kind of hang on to the ropes. While we're in there as well, we can kind of take our paddles and slide them under some of the bungee cords so they're out of the way. That way we can kind of like not hit each other with them. So that'll be kind of the process for getting in the lock. If you're ever out doing this by yourself and you want to lock through, um, the lock masters like a phone call, kind of letting them know like that you're coming so that they can kind of coordinate the upstream traffic and the downstream traffic, make sure that everybody can fit in the lock in the appropriate amount of time. But they don't allow sit on tops, right? They don't allow sit on tops and they don't allow stand up paddle boards. You have to be inside a craft in order to uh, to lock through. Gotcha. You know if that's most locks or this one particularly? Um, this one and all of the ones that are run by Tennessee Valley Authority. But I, I would imagine it's most of them because uh, they pump the water out the bottom of the dam through the lock and there's a lot of undertows and currents. Uh -huh. So they don't really like it to where you can have easily, you can easily access like getting in the water. Um, if people do swim, then they sound the alarms and it's like a real big deal uh -huh. if you swim like while you're in the lock. feet did you say it drops? Uh, it drops about 45 feet uh, depending on what the water level is at the lake. In the winter it'll be a
And then it also um, gives you 21% off your next trip. So if you guys want to come see the Sand Hill Cranes or the Bats, yeah, thank you guys for coming out. And uh, I hope to see you all again. I'm sure that I'll probably see you guys around town for sure. If you're curious, it took about eight minutes for that water to be drained and for us to be lowered to the river below. This is at time compressed to 20 seconds. If you're interested in taking this tour, I will leave the contact information for Chattanooga Guided Adventures in the description. I highly recommend them, and I know that we will be taking another tour with Zach sometime in the future on the Sand Hill Crane Kayak Tour. Thank you for watching this video. Since you made it this far, be sure to click that like button. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Check out some of our past adventures. Until the next time, hope to see you out on the water someday.